Hey guys, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we're going to learn how to highlight a particular section of ggplot. ggplot2 is one of the most uh, popular visualization library for R. And then uh, in this video, we're going to see how to highlight it like this. So usually you would see plots like this, but uh, our objective is to see how to do like this. So unlike popular uh, opinion, which might think that this is quite complicated, this is actually very easy using a package called ggHighlight. So GG Highlight has been uh, made by uh, Hiroki Utani. So thanks Hiroki for making this package and making it open source. This package is available on CRAN, so you can directly install using installed packages. And for this particular video, we are going to use another data set, uh, which is called Gapminder data set. So if you're familiar with uh, the most popular, uh, uh, one of the most popular TED Talks by Hans Rosling, so you can actually find uh, this data set. So this, this is also made uh, available as a package by Jenny Bryan. So let's uh, go ahead and, and install this package. Uh, so once you are uh, done with these two packages, uh, let's load these packages. And uh, let's also load tidyverse because we might want to do some uh, data manipulation stuff. So now all these things are uh, loaded. So let's look at uh, how a Gapminder looks like. So this is how the Gapminder data set looks like. So you have got a country, continent, year, life expectancy, and population and GDP per capita. So let's try to build a simple bar plot and you can see that this, uh, this data set uh, has year. So it, it increases cumulatively. So we'll take one particular year in this case, 2007, and then we'll store it as a um, new data frame subset uh, called G7, gapminder, gapminder filter year is equal to 2007. So our data set is successfully saved. So we have got a data set with uh, uh, the uh, country name and then we have got uh, life expectancy and population uh, stuff like that. So let us uh, start with the bar plot that says population and uh, country name. So let's start with GG, GS7 and uh, to reduce the number of countries that we want to plot, let's uh, add a condition saying that uh, we want population where the population is greater than mean of population. So more than average. So we want that. And then we'll say GG plot geom call aes uh, and we want the y axis sorry we want the coordinates to be flipped so we'll say country is y and your x is pop and we will give some color fill is equal to let's say red and let's print it so now you can see that you have got uh, all the countries with red color and uh, let's say now the main objective is you don't want to showcase all the countries. Maybe this is a presentation that you are making only for China, let's say China, and you want to highlight only China. So you simply have to do this thing, which is to GG highlight as a function. And then say, what is the condition that you want to give? You want to say country uh, is equal to equal to China. And then when you run this, you would see that everything else is uh, kind of uh, grayed out and then China is only the country that is highlighted. Let's say maybe you don't want to highlight only one country, but you want to do multiple countries. So you can simply do like how, so you can treat this as a logical operator here and say China and India. And you can see that uh, now both these countries are um, highlighted. So maybe now uh, rather than this, you want to highlight based on a condition not based on uh, um, a particular, uh, let's say, a feature. So in that case, let's say uh, our uh, 75th percentile, so pop uh, percentile quant and um, our uh, GG gapminder G7 dollar pop comma point Okay, so our 75th percentile is this value. So let's let's highlight only those that are above this. Okay, so let's say GG plot, sorry, GG highlight where your pop is greater than this particular value. Oh, so almost everything has uh, come to that particular thing into let's say um, into three maybe. Uh, you see only few countries. So this is a way uh, rather than using a categorical variable, you can also use a condition to highlight it. So I think uh, um, you have all, uh, almost got the idea of what, to, what this particular plot is. So to just give you a little bit more sense, let's make another plot using Gapminder, uh, which in this case will make a um, uh, line chart. Uh, and then we'll see how to highlight it. Geom line AES 
and our x axis is year and our y axis is um, gdp okay population let's deal with population and you want it to be grouped by country and uh, let's see how it looks this is how the line looks and maybe not uh, one of the best ones and if you want to highlight let's say highlight only uh, where we have population the same thing will highlight population or let's say we want to look for only one particular country country is equal to equal to china and you can see how the line looks like so you can see that uh, china is only highlighted with the label also the name china so you can also look for other attribute other arguments that will help you um, plot a better plot uh, like for example like the label by default it took a label but you can also see what other things you can do with that what kind of uh, uh, label attributes you want to give what key you want to give like which column you want to highlight all those things so this is quite a handy package for you to make a better plots it also works with uh, facet so if you want to make a uh, let's say faceted plot let's say facet um, wrap based on continent uh, let's hope i didn't make a continent mm. it's uh, yeah so you can see that and then after this you can do gg highlight and then say your pop is greater than this value and then it would highlight uh, this particular thing in every plot okay so you can see what are the countries if you want you can disable the plot, uh, label but uh, this is the entire idea i hope uh, this video was quite helpful for you to uh, optimize your gg plot in a better way uh, using this gg highlight and uh, like we just discussed uh, this is available on uh, uh, CRAN, you can directly install using installer packages and I hope this video was quite helpful for you and if you have any uh, suggestions or if you like to see some kind of new videos, please let me know in the comment section. Have a nice time. See you. Bye-bye.